things when you're planning to build is to make the most of your location while capturing the best of your views. Oh, Joe, but when that location is Aries Inlet at the start of the Great Ocean Road, it's pretty hard to go wrong. We're going to show you through a house that feels like a country retreat. It has ocean views to match. All right, Pete, first impression. I think it's an imposing looking building first up, but not your normal rectilinear beach house, Joe. There is a playful side of this house. I mean, even the hill that we're standing on, the one on the other side, had been designed so that kids and grandkids can roll down and have fun. And the back of this house is completely different. It is a house of two faces. Yeah, now we are in a bushfire zone. One of the materials that is accepted in this highly flammable area is red iron bark. And that's what's been used here, left to weather, to give that beautiful silver sheen. Everybody who looks at it actually sees something different. So what do you see? Oh, I, I can see the bow of a ship. I can't stop seeing like a, almost like a Darth Vader-like mask. <laughs> yeah. you know, the, the windows of the eyes yeah. wrapping around yeah. the side, the big mouth here. Yeah, combating the force of Mother Nature. Mother Nature. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me, what a huge space. It's very impressive, isn't it? Wow. Yep. I get the feeling now I'm on the bridge of a ship. Yeah, and you know what? You get the full effect of those windows that we saw from the outside. But Pete, the point of them lines up literally directly with the light hats. Yeah, that's, that's the corner of a triangle. The thing to remember here, this whole plan is based on two triangles, and we saw that from the moment of entry. Yeah, look, I know, I know, I know I should be paying more attention, but this kind of reminds me of maths at school. All I am seeing and hearing is, look at all these seating options in here. Oh, I mean, you've got that, that huge sort of love seat that goes the full length of this lower level, your cat. Even the cabinetry can be used as more seating. This is an entertainer's paradise. An immediate sense of relaxation, my yeah. hander. And Joe, haven't we come a long way in beach house planning where the kitchen now holds pride of place? Uh, no wonder. I would cook for days if I was looking out over this bushland and this spectacular coastline. Yeah. And the key feature is concrete island bench. What, what is the finish on it, Peter? It's now it's got a matte wax finish on it as opposed to a gloss, and that's the best way to keep it looking as natural as it possibly can. It, it's the same as the key feature in the corner of the living area with the firebox. Yeah. Now it needs to be poured in one go so it doesn't crack. So beautiful. So the house is effectively built over three levels. So we've left the main living area, which also has a master bedroom, a study, a bathroom, everything up there. And we've come down here, which is really about a space for the extended family to enjoy. Yeah, correct. Now, one of the advantages or disadvantages of dealing with triangles as your principal form of geometry is you avoid the long hallways and the boxy rooms, but you're left with quite unusual angles to deal with. Well, only if you haven't been clever in the way that you've actually filled them. I mean, this is a great example, this little sort of library at the back here and a very unusual shaped couch that you can sit on. It's pure genius. Yeah, linked together by this quite beautiful dog leg maze like hallway. Look, there's a lift for future proofing and there's even angled cavity doors. Just so clever. The fact you really think outside the square. Uh, triangle, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the bottom level, which houses the garage and the workshop. And Pete, that is where all of the delicate features and the timber ends. Down here, it feels like a bunker. What about that car, Joe? I'd love to be cruising the ocean road in that. Awesome. It's all concrete down here, which means it's fireproof. So important in this part of the coast. But because we're a half level below ground, it has a major impact on the scale of the front of the house. See what I mean, Joe? Everything now looks as though it's slightly overscaled. Yeah, I would imagine if a car was driving in here, it would almost look as if that garage is swallowing it. And with those big oversized batten, this house almost fit for a giant to live in. Now, the construction has been achieved by steel and timber framing, cantilevering out, achieving that beak-like quality at the front. No matter which way you enter this house, whether by car or by foot, it's very theatrical, matching the drama of this coastline.